हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट अस डिस्कस सम मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चंस ऑन फोटोइलेक्ट्रिक इफेक्ट कमिंग टू द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन द फोटोइलेक्ट्रिक इफेक्ट इज द एमिशन ऑफ डैश व्हेन लाइट फॉल्स ऑन ए मेटल सरफेस ऑप्शंस आर प्रोटॉन्स न्यूट्रॉन्स इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंड फोटॉन्स एज वी हैव डिस्कस्ड फोटोइलेक्ट्रिक इफेक्ट इज द एमिशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स राइट so the answer will be option c the next question is which of the following quantities determines the kinetic energy of photo electrons options are frequency of incident light intensity of incident light wavelength of incident light and the last one is amplitude of incident light so we know that whenever the light falls on the metal surface it is used in two parts the part one is to remove the electron and the next part is given as the kinetic energy and the energy of the incident light depends on the frequency so the answer is option a coming to the third question the photoelectric effect provides evidence for the dash of light particle nature wave nature dual nature and none of the above yes what should be the answer the correct option is particle nature that is option a question 4 tells us the work function of a metal is the minimum amount of energy required to dash an electron from the surface of the metal option a excite b is ionize c accelerated and d deaccelerate and the correct option is option b that is to ionize an electron from the surface of the metal next question is the stopping potential in a photoelectric experiment depends on the dash of the incident light intensity wavelength frequency and amplitude as we have already discussed if we plot a graph between frequency and stopping potential the graph will come somewhat like this okay so this is the threshold frequency so here the question is the stopping potential in a photoelectric experiment depends on what will be the answer that is the option c frequency The next question is the photoelectric effect is not observed when the frequency of the incident light is dash the threshold frequency of the metal. We have discussed three situations when h nu is equals to the work function that is w zero or h nu zero. H nu is less than h nu zero and h nu is greater than h nu zero. and we have seen that emission is not possible when the frequency is less than the threshold frequency so the option c is the correct answer that is less than the threshold frequency question 7 according to the photoelectric effect the number of photoelectrons emitted is directly proportional to the intensity frequency wavelength and work function of the metal yes what should be the answer the correct option is option a that is intensity of incident light if we are increasing the intensity the number of electrons will increase and the photo current will also increase now coming to the next question which of the following statements is true regarding the photoelectric effect option a the number of emitted electrons is directly proportional to the intensity of incident light the number of emitted electrons is directly proportional to the wavelength of the incident light option c is the number of emitted electrons is directly proportional to the frequency of the incident light and the last option is the number of emitted electrons is independent of the properties of the incident light yes as we have discussed the correct option is option a 
that is the number of emitted electrons is directly proportional to the intensity of incident light next is if the intensity of incident light on a metal surface is doubled what happens to the number of emitted electrons per unit time it is halved it is doubled it remains the same or it is quadrupled as we have discussed the number of electrons emitted is directly proportional to the intensity of incident light and as the incident light is becoming double the number will also become double so the correct option is option b it is doubled now coming to question 10 the work function of a metal is 1.66 electron volt what is the minimum frequency of incident light required to emit electrons from the metal surface for this you need to do some calculation we know the work function w0 is equals to h nu0 nu0 is the threshold frequency h is Planck's constant now this w0 value is given 1.66 electron volt and it is asked to find out the minimum frequency of incident light that is the threshold frequency nu0 so from here i can write nu0 is equals to w0 by h now we know the value of w0 which is given in the question 1.66 electron volt also we know the value of Planck's constant so just by substituting these two values we can calculate the minimum frequency or the threshold frequency now substituting the values nu0 is equals to 1.66 it is in electron volt so first we need to convert this into joule so for that we need to multiply 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 and h is 6.625 into 10 to the power minus 34 after doing the calculation we can get nu0 is equals to 4 into 10 to the power 14 hertz so now check which one is the correct option so the correct option is option a the next question the photoelectric current is directly proportional to the frequency of the incident light the intensity of incident light the work function of the metal and the speed of incident light always the current depends on the number of the electrons flowing through right and in one of the previous question we have already discussed that if we are increasing the intensity then the number of electrons emitted will increase okay and if the number of electrons emitted are increasing that will increase the photoelectric current so here the correct option is option b that is the intensity of incident light coming to the next one the photoelectric effect is the basis for the operation of solar cells incandescent balls fluorescent ball lamps and lasers here the correct option is option a that is solar cell hope these questions will help you in your exams thank you for watching if you like the content please share the link with your friends and press the like button also do subscribe to the channel to get the notifications thank you all